Hi guys, today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on Blender. I've never done a tutorial of this program. It's a free program, I'll put the link in the description if you want to go get it for yourself. Now, this is just to make a simple YouTube intro. Okay? And it looks super awesome. I'll even show you... Uh, well, you'll see mine and, and other videos. So yeah, right, okay. For First of all, I don't want this cube, so I'm going to delete that. Okay. Now, if I hit 1, it will bring me to this horizontal view. Now, that is good. That's what I want. Now, if I hold Control alt 0 it will set my camera to my position. That will that, That's what that does. Okay, so if I just hit Space and type in Add Text, hit Enter. Now, this text is here. To edit the text, just hit Tab and... There we go. If to get out of the text, text editor, set tab again, and there you go. Now if this is the position you want it to be in, uh then that's fine. But if it isn't, hit R, then X, and then this will rotate it vertically or whatever ang for an angle so it looks a bit more it's standing up towards the camera to get into the camera view on your numpad hit zero okay now i can see this it looks pretty dull doesn't it so i'm just gonna hit this text up here button this button up here then i'm going to go to extrude you don't want to extrude too much because that's what that looks like and you don't want that, so I'm gonna bring mine to by. That's a happy medium. Okay, so I wanna add some color to my text. Now, I go to this little ball, like, it kinda looks like a crash test dummy thing, and it's called material. So if you click that, and then hit new, it'll come up like this. Now, this white bit here, if I just click that, now I get this color coding. So I'm gonna put mine dark blue, and you'll see why. In a, in a minute. I'm going to have it quite dark. Now, if I go over to these world settings right here, and I click on them, and then go to horizon color, I'm going to change that to black. What I'm also going to do now is hit, type in add, plane. And this will add a small flat surface for your text to sit on. Now, I what I just did there is hit S and I just moved the mouse to to make um, to what you want it to be or where you want it, how high you want it to be, how low, whatever. Now, not unlike, sorry I should have mentioned this before, but unlike any other thing, you have to right click to select something rather than left clicking. So if I right click on this, right click on that. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to go down here and you see this in the world settings. See this indirect lighting? I'm going to tick that and then hit approximate. Now I don't need to do anything more there. If I go back over to my material and go to emit, I'm going to emit that to about 5.3. Yeah, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, actually, I'm going to have a what, one. Now I have a light up here, which I do not want. So I'm going to hit X and delete. Okay, now, this is what that looks like, but if I move it up here, and then hit F12, you see how it has sort of a glue around it, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to go into my camera view and press G, just to move it about until you get the perfect angling. Now, this is just a still image at the minute. To animate this, you're going to have to move this forward. Right, I'm going to do a simple animation. So I'm going to move this forward, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so this is uh, where I want it to be. Now, if I go to Object, and then go to Animation, Insert Keyframe, and Lock Rot, which means Location, Rotation. If I click that. 
a lot of keyframe down here at the zero at the first frame. Now, if I go to around the seventieth frame, it doesn't matter where you put the frame, depending on slow or fast you want it to go. Now I'm just gonna bring this, bring the camera back to here. Don't delete it or don't try and do the control alt zero thing because it won't work properly. Okay, so I've moved, I've clicked on the seventieth seventieth frame, and if I just hit I, that will be, bring up a quick insert keyframe menu and I'm going to go to lock rot again now this is what the animation will look like okay but that goes on for quite a while as you can see it goes on to the 250th frame now I'm going to end it around the 80th frame so if I go to if I click on this and type 80 it will end at the 80th frame now you see you'll see it's a lot so it ends See, and it will keep going. Okay, now this is just a file in Blender. This isn't what you need for YouTube. So if you go over to this cam, this render little camera icon up here, click on that, scroll down, or don't even scroll down. This p, this thing where it says PNG, click on that and change it to AVI raw AVI file or AVI raw. Now, go to animation. Click this little thing here, animation. Now this will render out your video frame by frame. It shouldn't take too long. So yeah, while this is rendering, I'll get back to you in a second. Hi guys, I'm back here after recording my sorry about that Blender animation thing tutorial. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to render and put it into. Uh, how to make it an available folder for YouTube? Okay, so I got my animation folder here. I'm basically. Oh, by the way, how I did that was just uh, open here and choose my desktop and see it and type in animation. And then I will render it as that. Okay, so I'm gonna open uh, Movie Maker. Drag and drop this here and oh god. Oh god, no go away alienware thing. Music. No. Bit of lag there, don't know why. There we go. Sorry about that. Just okay. Nine <coughs> I'm choking. Sorry. Uh, now I'm just going to render it in 1080p, like I usually do. I've had loads of takes of this, just to try and... Because I haven't found a good screen recorder, but I finally found one. I hope. Okay, so I'm going to play it. Here we go, 1080p, full quality. As you can see here, it's only crappy quality. Not 1080, so... Thanks for watching, everything Minecraft. Uh, hope you like this tutorial. Hopefully, see my see I see my new things out there. Thanks for watching.